Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I will show you a quick in-depth review of two great ported features from the Note 8 which are actually working on the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus device. I'm talking about the Edge Lightning and the Live Message, both tested and working flawlessly on my S8. The installation procedure is somehow simple, you can check out my video in the card section to see the entire Note 8 ported apps package shared exclusively by Alexis XDA running on the Galaxy S8 along with a side-by-side -side comparison between the S8 and Note 8 ones. Let's get wicked and see the first feature of this video, the beautiful Edge Lightning from the brand new Galaxy Note 8. For all the customizable options, you'll have to go into Settings app, then Display, then Edge Screen. Down there, you'll have Edge Lightning. Until here, there is really no difference compared to the Galaxy S8 original Edge Lightning feature, but uh, here comes the new one. You can see there is an advanced Settings option in the bottom of the screen, and here, voila, brand new features. You can opt within three color modes. Basic color mode which is known to borrow the color of the wallpaper and set it on the edge lighting when receiving a notification. App color mode is designed to get the default color of each application you're getting a notification from. For example, in WhatsApp, the edge screen will run green, in Telegram, maybe blue, and in YouTube, of course, red, and so on and so forth. And there is also a custom color option which I find to be the most satisfying when you test out the edge screen with it. Take a look on how smooth you can transition your thumb between all the colors. It just looks astonishing. Along with these color mods, you have the ability to set five different widths of the edge line. And uh, the last but not the least, here comes the option to set up the transparency of the same edge line. Overall, this feature is worth having on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Even if it's a Note 8 ported feature, it is really welcome. Now, we've already seen the edge screen before, on the S8, on the S6, S7, S8, Note 8, Note 7, for a couple of days until they started to blow up, but the live message is somehow what personally I haven't seen until now. So, this feature was shown a couple of days ago when the Note 8 was released, and now, while the Note 8 is still in the pre-oil stage, I got the chance to test it on my Galaxy S8. You can test it out too, again you can check out my previous video to see the prerequisites needed. In order to activate the live message, you'll need Samsung keyboard. So, this won't work on SwiftKey, on Gboard or on any other keyboard. For demonstration purposes, I will switch up to the Samsung keyboard and then all you have to do is to long press the little wheel, the bottom left part of the keyboard and you'll get the live message icon right there. Click it and voila! Live message is live! From here you can write whatever you want and it can be saved as a GIF later on. In the top left corner of this window you have three icons. The first one lets you select between three different pen types. One of them seems to be a crayon, the very last two of them seem to give a more neon look to the writing. On the second icon you can also select the width of the pen and the last icon lets you select between these available colors. When you're done writing you can save it as a GIF and then share it with your contacts on WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, so on and so forth. Anyways, this was pretty much all I wanted to share with you in this video, both brand new features taken directly from the Note 8, the edge screen lightning and live message. I hope you liked this video, if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe right on my channel. Until next time, take care. Wicked is out, bye bye.